This was the scene in Timbuktu as jihadists wrecked historic shrines in Mali three years ago. Insurgents linked to Al-Qaeda destroyed 16 mausoleums that date back to Timbuktu's golden age. Since then, UNESCO and the Malian government have begun to rebuild the tombs, looking through ruins and photos to ensure they're as accurate as possible. Luckily, after the destruction of the wall, we found the remains were still there. We collected some ruins, which was our first source of information. We also collected information from the community and found old photos and documents collected by historians who came here to Timbuktu. The restoration will take four years to complete and will cost more than $11 million, funded in part by the World Bank and the European Union. And it will be local masons with their specialized techniques taking the helm. To rebuild the mausoleums which were destroyed by the jihadists, we have decided to use old and new masons to help them learn what we should do on site. Half are apprentices, half are experienced, so they can learn what we learned from our parents. The mausoleums were originally built to pay homage to saints and scholars. For the people of Timbuktu, their destruction was an assault on Malian history and culture. For someone from Timbuktu, the mausoleums are psychologically what protects the city. Clearly, there's a knowledge, a style and the genius of the mason. But besides that, there's also a saint lying there. And for us, this saint played a major role in the historic development of Timbuktu. And as the Masons restore the shrine's former glory, there's also hope they'll bring Timbuktu's unique history back to life. Clementine Logan, CCTV.